All right, now we're gonna talk curtains. There's lots of different types of curtains. There's the Volants, there's the Grand Drape, there's the Scrim, there are Travelers, there's Legs, and there's Blue Legs and Black Legs, Blue Traveler, Black Traveler. So you need to know all of these different things as well as the electrics that are up there and the empty bars, the bars with the projector screen on them, all of that stuff. You need to know how to raise and lower all that stuff, how it all works. So let's get to it, let me show you. Okay, now that we're in the fly loft, this is basically the whole setup you'll have over here. I'm gonna focus more on just this one. Every single one of these is labeled. Each one of these ropes coincides with a curtain. This one specifically goes to a set, that set of travelers. I'm gonna show you how those work once I've got them down. Up here, we start here, get your gloves on for safety. And then, while you've got a hold of the rope, take that ring off. Pull the red bar down. That should unlock this so you can move these weights up and down. I lift things up and put them down. Then we're going to look over here as the curtain is going down. We make sure nobody's underneath it while we're lowering it. And if you have somebody else there to help you, then you have them tell you when to stop. If you don't, go until you see the curtain squish just a little bit at the bottom. Go back up just a little bit until it unsquishes. Pull this red lever back up, lock it and you're done. Now, safety. If these are not balanced right, if you take some of the weights off, or if there's not enough weight on there, these can be really out of balance, and that will potentially be dangerous. If it's really heavy over there, you're trying to hold on here, and it's not working, if it's gonna pull you up, just let go. Hopefully, nobody is down in that case, but best case scenario, obviously, is that everything is counterbalanced properly, and you don't have to worry about that. But in the rare case that something is obscurely out of balance, try and make sure it's balanced. If it's not and you don't know, you go to move it and it's going to drag you all the way to the top, just let go. But hopefully that won't happen. Then obviously remember if you are lowering anything or moving anything, make sure everybody is out from underneath it because if it's out of balance, that bar is gonna come crashing down and could hurt somebody or potentially kill them. So you wanna be really safe. You wanna make sure everybody's out of the way. Up here, again, there's all these different curtains that apply to these ropes or a light bar or something else. If we have a backdrop or something like that, this is where you come to raise it and lower it. If we've got a change of lights that we've gotta do, do not move the bars that have the lights on them. We call them electrics. Do not move the electrics unless I tell you to because they're they're very touchy and bulbs burn out and everything and it gets very expensive. So unless I tell you to, don't raise and lower those electrics. Other than that, this is pretty much the setup up here. Don't come and do it unless I've approved you to come and do it. And if you wanna get approved, come and talk to me and we can do that training. This is the fly loft. Be really careful. Let's show you how the traveling curtains work. All right, now that we've got the traveler down, what we wanna do, we come over here, we've got this bag that's kind of weighted. It goes with the travelers. No other curtains have the weighted bag with the rope. All you gotta do is pull on one of the ropes and it closes. Sometimes it gets stuck. Just pull this a little snug more and it'll be done. That's it, that's all you gotta do. If I say open that traveler, come and pull on this rope and open it. This rope, if I say open it, that means open it like this. If I say raise it, that means I want you to go up in the fly loft and lift that curtain up away so that we can't see it anymore. That is the basics of the fly loft and the traveling curtain. Let me show you one more. Okay, one more curtain, the grand drape. Here's the button panel for the grand drape. It's the only one that doesn't raise and lower from the fly loft. It's the big fancy one that raises and lowers in the front. The top button is to open it. That means raise it up. And the middle button is to lower it and close it. The red button is to stop it. You don't want to push that unless you absolutely have to if there's some kind of emergency because it's really bad for the motor. So if it's going down 
and you're just like, oh no, I didn't really want it down. It's not an emergency or anything. Let it go down all the way, then open it so that it's better on the motor. Cases where it's an emergency. We had a time where we had a carriage on stage, a big old horse carriage, and somebody thought they were being helpful and came to raise the curtain. We weren't ready. It snagged the carriage and started lifting the carriage up off the ground and ended up ripping the curtain. That's a case where you need to stop it. Or if somebody's in danger or they're underneath it, the curtain's lowering and it's dangerous, you gotta stop that curtain. So let me show you how that works. You push the middle button, it closes it, top one raises it, bottom one stops it. So that is the grand world of curtains. If you have any questions on the curtains, like which ones are which, come and talk to me and I can help you. If you forget how to work it or you don't feel comfortable with something, please ask questions. The more questions you ask, the more prepared you are. Be prepared. And if I know you're prepared, I can trust you a little better and other people can trust you too. So let's do curtains right. Thanks guys.